welcome to another video so on this video we're focusing on uh entries and the traffic light system so uh firstly we have like two diagrams here to illustrate like the traffic light system and then we have an ascending channel here a reversal pattern to push to the downside so firstly let me uh tell you like what a traffic light system is so on the red zone here you, you look for uh, risk entries maybe at the top of the structure double top areas like this and then you look for cells let me change the color and then you look for cells or you can look for tight flags six to eight hours just like this and then on the red zone on the amber zone this is where you look for larger flag patterns uh and then a larger flag pattern is maybe a pattern that has like three touches uh let me just show you an illustration like at the bottom here let's say you have something of this nature you have like an expanding and then expanding as you all know we have like uh some type of a movement like this and then you look for source like on the, the touch so this is what an ember zone will give you most of the time and then on the red zone this is where you look for you don't look for any trades just because uh the market can just retrace back or give you like uh, some type of a larger corrective move and then push back to the upside instead of continuing with the direction just because we are at the 90 percent rule around here and then same in reverse on the upside you look for double top double bottom areas you look for risk entries around here and then if you get if you don't get the risk entry or it's not in your plan you wait for a clear push to the upside and then a six to eight hours tight flag and then you look for buys and then let me just show you like the tight flag that you look for so a tight flag uh to the to the upside it's a clear push to the upside with momentum clear momentum and then some type of price action like this and then you wait six to eight hours after six hours then you can place an entry and then you have you must have like clear two bottoms clear two bottoms they must be clear clear two bottoms and then they must give you like some type of a scoop at the bottom or a clear scoop like this some type of movement like this and then you look for buys from here at the top with your buy stop and then moving to the amber zone or uh, on the direction to the upside same same thing happens you may get like a descending channel like this with a running channel at the end of the structure and then a running channel guys you may get like a descending channel here in a form of a larger flag and then knowing that you are looking for upside then you get like so this type of price action price will be moving like this and then on the last leg that's where you get like some corrective move and then creating a descending channel within there and then you look for buying opportunities on the third touch like just like this these are the scenarios that you get like in the markets and then you look for buying opportunities like on the bottom of the structure and then the stop is just below here and then you're protected and then you look for the buying opportunities and then same same applies on the red zone on the upside movement you don't look for any entries just because you will get like some type of corrective price action or it will just drop to the downside and then come back just because this is the 90 percent rule of the overall move so let me just show you that on like uh some charts let me just show you that on some charts let me just move it a bit so this is the price action that we have and then we have an ascending channel around this area let me just remove this one and then we have the ascending channel and then this is the green zone here this is the green zone this is where you look for risk entries and your double top movement or your tight legs around this area here so let's just play price and see what happens and then we had like uh, a few entries this is the entry that you would have taken and then you would be tagged out on break even and then you look for another entry and then i did like my pattern separation around here this is a pattern on its own and then this is a pattern on its own also and then now we look for a clear push down and then a tight flag on the red on the green zone and then we move to the amber zone if we get like the larger flag we take the larger flag and then to the red zone we don't do anything so let's just uh, play the price and see what we get 
so we get the clear push out and then now we look for that uh, six to eight hours and then as you can see here we got that six to eight hours around here and then we have like a clear price action and then if you count like the number of candlesticks you'll see that you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen is the one that pushed to the downside and then we have clear bottoms around here and clear tops and then this is why you can continue with the price action and then as you can see it clearly pushes to the downside you have a chance to move to break even and then let's just see on the amber zone if we get like some type of an evolved larger flag and then on the amber zone it seems like we get like this type of price action we get this type of price action as you can see it's an expanding and then at the top of the structure it seems like it was trying to create like an override we will get two overrides soon enough do subscribe and then so that you don't miss out and then we create like that larger flag as you can see here and then we continue pushing to the downside so on the amber zone most of the time you will get like larger flags as i said like on that traffic light introduction you will see that we have like a larger flag that you must focus on and then this one seems like a, uh, a running channel at the top as you can see here as you can see here then we have the larger flag and then moving to the downside we hit the 90 percent rule and then as you can see here price is correcting like i said it's correcting it's moving sideways so another thing that you must uh, be aware of is that on the amber zone around this area here you will get that you will get like some type of a tight flag six to eight hours like i said if you get that tight flag you can take the tight flag uh let me just take the reward tool and then you take the tight flag and then price pushes you in the markets and then if you get pushed into the markets you move to break even and then if it creates that larger flag then you are checked out on break even and then you look for another entry around share and then after getting that entry then that's where you look for your overall target so that is how like we take entries on this uh, strategy here and then as you can see at the back here we had like a few entries on the green zone of which they didn't work out this one didn't work out as you can see here we hit like a uh, break even and then we came back it gave us like the another entry pushes to the downside and then it gave us that entry that i was talking about let me just try and push back price action so as you can see here let's say maybe you took like an entry around this area here for a tight leg you get tagged in and then maybe if you move break even if you didn't move to break even and then you are tagged out soon enough let's just push the price action very fast like that okay so you get tagged out and then it creates that larger flag then that's where you look for another entry and then you are in a good setup so that is it for today's video i hope you took some value and then i hope you'll drop a like subscribe and a comment if you have like any comments about this video and then i'll see you on another one have a great weekend